how's it going guys um i shot this on instagram but i wasn't able to save the video so i'm gonna shoot it again um because i had some other ideas but i just i'm gonna start to um do videos and show you what was in my lure bag the last time i went ahi fishing um hopefully this gives you guys um a little bit of help in um, picking lures or just get an idea of what what we're pulling um, I know when when I was trying to figure out how to catch an ahi um, this is back in the day when before social media and everybody pretty much put their lures away and hid them before they came in and um, came to the wash rack so if anything else this might be fun for for us also um one thing to keep in mind is that <clears throat> i'm kind of always testing and tweaking um stuff so um if you want a good solid um how do i put it baseline of lures to run out there if you're just starting out we do have a video that we made a few years ago and I'll put the link in the description below um, but most of my lures now are kind of based off of those colors um, just tweaked a little bit so anyways um, this is the lure we caught the ahi on this past trip it's a H1 bullet and this is kind of, I painted this before I did the one that you see on the website and um, I, I didn't like the way the dots, the, these dots look pretty good from afar but if you look at them really closely, it just, it doesn't, I don't know, didn't quite like it. So um, I had the, the one that's on the website and that one was biting for us, but one of my friends um, wanted it, so I gave it to him and then this was the next closest one. So I, this was running on the corner and this, this is the one we got the ahi on and we also missed the marlin on it. So H1 bullet, uh, alligator back or or silver with dots. That color is kind of inviting. And then uh, I've been testing this H1 flat face lure and this guy runs really good. Um, I would say it's kind of like in between the invert and a cut face where it pops a lot more than the invert. It doesn't dig down as hard as the invert and stay down but it's a real lazy pop kind of think of it like a like a puffer fish or something um gulping air at the surface just like bloop and then it continues on its way um she slides a little more side to side but um what i did want to show you guys is when we were working the zone um it was really cloudy and um, we took a what I thought was a blind strike and um, and then we worked there for a while more um, and then I was about to leave that area because I actually got called out to that area from one of our clients and um, he said he was hooked up but when I was watching him fight the fish through the binos um, I thought I was fighting a marlin so I was gonna leave but then I had the guys cranking the lure and just double check and I looked at it and there's teeth marks in it and so I drew it's kind of hard to see with just the mark so if you can see there I drew lines on where how do I get this in the camera where the teeth marks are so you can see and if you look at the gaps between the teeth marks um, that's a pretty tail sign that that was an ahi bite. So 
really the only other thing that would make up make keep marks like that is uh, uh, my my and that would have had to have been a really big my my for the amount of space between the teeth um, so and another thing is it, it tends to be way up in the front of the lure like this um, not always but sometimes you'll get it from all the way at the tip all the way down through the wings um, and that's a pretty good indicator that you got an ahi bite so I was about to leave there and then I you know had them check it and then we saw that it looked like an ahi bite and so I ended up staying in the area and then it was real cloudy at the time and then when the sun came up then I saw the porpoise so most likely we we got the fish in the porpoise and most likely we got the first bite in the porpoise we just didn't see the porpoise so um we had a my my on this guy as well and then on the way home there's the lure we hooked them on and on that's why the leader's all busted up i gotta change it but like i said i really like the way this um this lure is running i'm probably gonna make more in fact i yesterday i just made myself a regular moke flat face so I'm probably be testing that guy too but just the blue salmonish color the word that day was um, ice blue and um, that blue at the dot so that's that's why those were out there um, this guy was running on our our flat line this kind of root beer ish color it works um i just don't like that brown normal brown root beer so i made this one um we did get a couple of bites on it one of them was a my my for sure and the other one is could have been an ahi could have not um but yeah, this is a good color combination. We'll probably end up painting a head to match this skirt combo um, eventually. So this was running on my flat line, and that's the H1. This is one is the invert. So it's kind of running though the invert and the flat face really close to it. This was on the corner. This was on the flat line. I just wanted to see the difference. Um, and then on the riggers, we on um on one side rigger i had this h1 cut face um head and we missed two marlins on this guy that's the only thing about a cut face head yeah you're gonna draw those marlin strikes but it's the electric blue salmon I, I like the way this head runs as well because it's a even though it's a cut face because it's heavy it it tends to hit the surface and then dive immediately rather than just tear the surface up for a long time before you know diving down so um i've been liking the way this guy runs and again the color of the day seemed was supposed to be blue so that's the electric salmon um, and then I was running the Alba and be on the other side rigger, but no bites on this guy. Um, I didn't hear nothing about pink, but I just wanted to give it a run. So I ran this guy on the opposite side rigger. And then if you notice, I all those lures were H1s, which was, you know, nine inch plus size lures. There was a lot of big aqua around. My friend um, caught some nice, um, big akus I would say like 25 pound 20 25 pounders um, somewhere in that range real nice akus and I knew they were around and I knew that I didn't want to catch any of them so I I specifically went with bigger you know the H1 is a 9 plus lure so yeah not will we'll whack it but that's pretty rare um, now, if I never caught an ahi that day, I 
probably would have been a little bummed that I left all those Akos out um, out there. But when I was watching him um, unload his beautiful giant Akos, I was like, oh, you're not here in the box and you only get Akos. So that's just that's just my preference. So I run bigger lures, especially early in the season when um, a lot of times it's it's like you're you're bouncing from bird pile to bird pile to bird pile because there's a lot of aquas around and the ahis aren't actually in the bird piles. They're just in between the bird piles or they're in that area. So when we coming up to a pile or you know in a pile and and be catching aquas and then the guy next to you is catching ahis. That's again that's just um, my personal preference um and normally this time of the you know early season that's pretty typical and so how i fish it how i was taught to fish it you if you're the first guy there you make one or two nice passes um around you know around the outskirts of the bird pile and see if there's an ahi around and then if not you turn the boat and you make one pass right through the pile um, and we call it the fuck you pass and see if there's one right in the middle of the birds and if not then you just move on to the next pile now you don't do that if there's another boat there working it with you but if you're you're there you're the first guy to the pile nobody else is there three passes is probably pushing it for me I probably make um, one nice pass and one fuck you pass and then I'm off to the next um, bird pile uh, and again I, I fish a little more specific. Um, my goals in fishing is to catch ahis and, and I'm trying not to, you only got so many hours in a day, so I'm trying not to um, use up my hours, chase, um, fighting other stuff. So um, that's about it. Uh, if you guys got any questions, um, Leave it in the comments below. I know I'm being slow on the YouTube comments. I got a ton of comments on YouTube and a ton of comments on Instagram and a ton of comments on Facebook. So I'll, I'll get to you eventually. And if you really want to ask me something, shoot me a message on Instagram. Um, Sutomo Lures on Instagram. Or you can email me at info at sutomolures.com. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, like I said, if you got any questions, contact me somehow and I'll, I'll definitely help you out. Um, that's it. I'll, um, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna put a lot more videos out, especially now it's it's not full blown ahi season, but the ahis are here early, so we're gonna try and get videos out at least weekly at the minimum. So, hope you guys have a good week, guys.